Welcome, auto racing fans around the world, to Daytona International Speedway, where you're about to witness the Holden VF Commodore shootout. Only three cars and three laps in this exhibition race to celebrate the continued presence of the Holden brand in auto racing, thanks to events related to potential. And with that said, we're about to go down live to the starting grid. You've joined us live trackside here at Daytona International Speedway as the pace car leads our competitors around turn one on the warm-up lap. Now there's only three cars in this race, so let's introduce you to today's cast. Here is the starting grid. Sitting on the pole is Craig Lowndes in the triple eight, and on his outside is his teammate Garth Tander in the 88. These two Aussies are teammates for triple eight race engineering, and they're joined on row two by Kiwi Matt Halliday in the 044 for Brad Jones Racing. Now remember, all three of these drivers are in identical Holden VF Commodore stock cars, and by the way, all three have also qualified for the Daytona 500, which you'll be able to watch here on events related to potentials soon. But for now, this will have to serve as a kind of a, a sneak preview. And as they roll off turn four onto the main straight, we're about to get started. So hang on to your seat because it's going to be over before you know it. We're going to have to see some quick thinking and some drafting here as Daytona is of course a restrictor play track as the pace car slowly pulls into the pits. Lowndes and Tander are leading and we're about to go green here. Pace car pulls in and the green flag flies and Halliday tucks in right behind Lowndes trying to set up a pass. Tander on the high side loses out a little and here they go into turn one, Halliday pulling back down on the inside and they're going almost three wide. Halliday just about edges in front. Lounge trying to get a bit of a side draft in but it doesn't seem to be working or maybe it is. Halliday and Lounge side by side but Halliday just about edges in, in front. And there's a little bit of a gap opening up between all three cars here right now. Halliday pulls away a little bit. Sticking to that inside line. That's right on board with Lowndes. He's just about too far behind to set up a pass. And that was lap one. We're now on lap two of three. If these triple eight race engineering cars don't come up with some kind of plan soon they're gonna lose out to Matt Halliday. They're gonna have to come up with a draft which is exactly what they're doing. Look at Tander in the 88, the, the, the third car. He's pulling up to his teammate and he's gonna give him a little little draft, a little bump. Here we're on board with Lounge. As you can see he's too far behind Halliday but with a little push from his teammate he's gonna be right up there and then it's time to make the pass for the lead at just the right time. You gotta have nerves of steel here. And we're on the lap three, the final lap, white flag flies. And they have caught up right behind his bumper. Matt Halliday, they're still in the lead. But anytime soon now, one of these red cars is gonna be able to make a pass. But it's a question of getting the timing just right. Some exciting edge of your seat racing here going on on the last lap they're almost down the back stretch as we go into turn three when is going to be the right time to make the pass Lowndes and Tanner both hanging in there thinking about when to make the pass they're coming onto the main stretch it's now or never when are they going to do it running out of time and Matt Halliday wins the race it was too little too late from the triple eight cars. Well, there you have it folks. 
three laps to hold in VF Commodore Shootout, won by Matt Halliday. As we get the confirmation of that result here, your winner, Matt Halliday, followed by Craig Lowndes in second, and Garth Danner in third. No points scored, of course, since this was a non-championship exhibition race, but next time it's for real, as 43 cars will take to the start for the 200 lap Daytona 500, live at events related to potential. I very much hope you enjoyed that and see you next time.